Hey YouTube guys and YouTube gals. Where were you on 11-22? Stick around, I'll tell you where I was. November 22nd of 1963 is a date that most baby boomers, if not all baby boomers, remember quite well. And if you ask any of them where they were and what they were doing on that particular date, I would be willing to wager that 99.9% .9 of them could tell you very specifically the situation they were in the moment they heard that President John Fitzgerald Kennedy had been assassinated in Dallas. This video is going to relate to you exactly where I was and what I was doing. On that particular date, um, I was attending Palmer Junior High School. I was in the seventh grade. I was 14 years old. And uh, I was in Mr. Frazier's Algebra One class. Now, Mr. Frazier's class was divided because it took place during the lunch period. So we had part of the class, we would break for lunch, return to the classroom, and have the remainder of the class. Palmer did not have a lunchroom, a cafeteria. So Right across the street from Palmer was a building known as the Memorial Building. It had a gymnasium and it also had a cafeteria. There was a tunnel that went under the street that we would go down the stairs, go through the tunnel, back up the stairs, and into the cafeteria. We had eaten lunch. We were on the way back. We went through the tunnel. We went up the stairs and back into Palmer, and we were on our way up the stairs to the second floor to go back to class. We were in a single file line, and I was about in the middle of the line, and at one point another teacher approached Mr. Frazier uh, and stopped us and spoke to him, and being that far back in the line, I, I couldn't clearly hear what was being said, but uh, I did hear a sudden intake of breath, like, <gasps> from those at the beginning of the line who heard what the teacher had said to Mr. Frazier. And everybody around me said, what happened, what happened, what happened? So Mr. Frazier turned around and said, someone has shot the El Presidente. And I didn't think much about it because I presumed he was talking about someone in Spain or Mexico or Cuba or, or somewhere else. I, I had no idea he was talking about our president. So we went back to the classroom, we sat down and up at the point where the wall meets the ceiling there was mounted a brown intercom speaker with a round uh, canvas colored circle with a mesh covering the speaker portion. It came to life with some static and the lady from the lunchroom or from the uh, office said that President John Fitzgerald Kennedy has been shot uh, in Dallas, Texas. And uh, you could have heard a pin drop in the room and from that point on, it, it's kind of blurry. I don't remember exactly what happened the rest of that period, but uh, someone was busy down in the administrative offices contacting the bus company uh, because we left school early. The buses all arrived. We were released from school. We went home. And the next two or three days, the news media dominated the... Uh, the television. We only had three stations at that point, but everyone you went to 
uh, Chad Huntley, David Brinkley, Walter Cronkite, they were all telling the same story and relating the same incidents. Uh, we watched the funeral a couple of days later and uh, all of that uh, is as clear to me today as it was when it was happening. So uh, I'd be interested in hearing your story. If you're a baby boomer, even if you're not, if you recall the incident or the events, leave me a comment and tell me where you were, what you were doing, and what your feelings were at the time. I'd like to hear it. So until I speak with you again, and even after that, you stay safe.